Honestly, my family just don't understand me. Perhaps when I'm famous, and when my diary's been discovered, people will understand the torment of being a 13 and 3 quarter year old intellectual. It's so hard being deep, I'm forever losing sleep, thinking grand and amazing things. About three years ago, we were looking for a book to adapt for theatre and we both loved The Secret Diary of Adrian Mole. We never thought in a million years that we would get the rights to do the show, but we met with Sue Townsend, we played her a sort of 10 minute sample and she liked what we'd done and said, we'll go and write the rest yeah. of it. All of us who were putting the show on actually read the book when we were youngsters. So we're really coming to it uh, having loved it as a child, but rediscovering it as a grown-up. The story obviously revolves around Adrian Mole, who really is a kind of every man or every boy, I think. I certainly, when I read it growing up, really empathised with him as a character. Everything he was going through, I'd turn every page and go, this is... Well, not exactly like my life, but uh, there's so many similarities. And I think everyone can empathise with that idea of not quite fitting in and looking at the, the environment around you and going, this doesn't quite sort of work. And I think it's part of growing up and being a teenager. So following his journey and following his story, I think it's something that everybody is going to very naturally connect with. It's completely timeless, you know, divorce, falling in love for the first time, getting spots, hormones, that that's, you know, an issue that's been that's been current forever and that's what we loved about yeah. writing it, was bringing that sort of new generation to something. I'm 13 and three quarters and I'm so nearly there, just watch me, I swear. I'll be brave, I'll be strong, I'll be friends with Elton John and my spots will have gone away. He's a really dramatic character, so he'll, you know, have a spot one day and he'll make it into a, a massive, massive deal about having just this tiny little spot. Everything is like um, a Hollywood movie for Adrian, I would say. You know, when he falls in love, this is the most exciting thing that's ever happened. That's why it sings so beautifully. Everything is a song, is a moment, is a feeling. So it's just a brilliantly fun character to write for. Okay, boys, are you ready? We just heard the band, didn't we, and it yeah, sounded wow. amazing. I thought it was perfect to fit the style of Adrian's mind. So in terms of the music, I think we decided quite early on that we didn't want to do sort of 80s period music. We decided to sort of look at everything from Adrian's point of view. So when he does fall in love, that's a big Disney ballad. You know, when, when there's a, a seduction, that's a kind of Latin tango. Soon we're going up to Leicester, which will be really exciting. It'll be an exciting production, a new piece of musical theatre and a retelling of a brilliantly funny story, which a lot of us have grown up. And for young audiences, I think they need to discover the story of Adrian Mole and the characters. We really have set out to write a show that absolutely everyone would enjoy, every single generation. It's one of those um, shows that you'll be able to see again and again and just sort of fall more in love with. It's just really exciting to come into Adrian's world and experience what you've read in the book but in front of you. It's not often that you get to come and work on uh, source material that's as fantastic as this novel. It's not often that you get uh, given license by one of the country's most exciting producing theatres to create a brand new British musical. So when you put all of those elements together that's a very very special experience. It. I wrote it in pen. Yours faithfully, Adrian Albert Mole.